So many of United's players have been balling out over the course of the international break. Fernandez, Hoyland and Rashford have all scored for their respective countries. McTominay's balling out as usual for Scotland. Casemiro, at the minute he can't buy a good game, even for Brazil. The guy is just struggling at the minute. But whenever these guys, even the ones playing well, put on a United shirt, the performance levels just massively drop. And why is that? Well, I've cast my mind back over the start of the season, had a rewatch of the most recent games as well, and I do think there's some tactical issues in Ten Hag setup that's really cropping up time and time again. And I think there's three things that I'm going to talk about in the video today that if Ten Hag doesn't sort these, then we're really going to struggle to qualify for top four this season, never mind anything else. It's not looking good, Bev. In the Premier League, we haven't had a good performance at all so far. We've had one good game, I think that was probably the one in the Carabao Cup. I'm not going to obviously call for Ten Hag's head just yet. Far from it. I'm going to cut the guy a lot of slack. Given the injuries, given the farce of the takeover stuff, make sure you're checking out the most recent video I did surrounding my views on the takeover stuff, because I'm fed up of talking about it at the minute. But I'm going to cut Ten Hag a lot of slack for those things. And I think he's still doing a very good job given the circumstances. But that doesn't mean I don't think that some of his tactics are just a little bit off. I'm going to go through those three things in the video today that I think he really needs to improve. Drop a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new around here. And let's get into it. Okay, let's go. So the first thing, guys, and it's going to be surrounding the sort of manic nature of the United's game at the minute. It's a double-edged sword, but I'm going to talk first of all surrounding the attack inside of it. And it's going to be surrounding a, a lot of it, surrounding this quote that he made at the start of the season. Talking about United being the best transition-based team that's sort of in the world. And I understand, yes, it's great to be a great transition-based team. And it's sort of what United have been built on over the years, that quick attacking football, that's great. But you also need to learn how to control games sometimes, to sort of control the tempo of it a little bit more, which is simply not doing that. Even against teams that we really should be dominating, we're not doing that at the minute. There's no control. After last season, I thought there was going to be so much more control in United's possession. We obviously used the excuse last year for a lot of the direct football, given the fact that we had De Gea in goals. Ten Hag needs it, needed some more of his players in there. That was always the excuse. But now, obviously, we brought in Onana. We've got Mount. We've got Amrabat. We thought we'd play a lot more of that sort of possession-based game and control the tempo a lot more. But we're simply just not doing that. So many of the attacks are just from back to front. They're far too rushed. We end up giving the ball away far too cheaply. And then that puts us on the back foot in a lot of these games then. And I've got a lot of criticism as well, given the fact that we've, we've gone ahead in quite a few games this season. But we're failing time and time again to hold on to those leads. Because we don't know how to play any other way. We still play that sort of 90 mile an hour football. Even when we go a goal ahead in games, we don't know when to control the tempo of it just to keep hold of possession. We signed Onana, yet he's kicking the ball long consistently, trying to rely on that counter-press higher up the field. I can't do anything else. I think that manic nature of United playing at the minute is not helping us at all, and I think Ten Hag really needs to sort that out. A man can dream. And then my second point really follows on from that first one then. And it's going to be more surrounding the defensive side of the game. Given the fact that United are not controlling the game at all, then leads into the defensive errors. But the main thing United need to sort out in a minute is going to be the channel defending. Obviously, I'm going to cut Ten Hag some slack given the injuries. A lot of the um, issues United have had have been down that left-hand side. Credit the Devil's DNA on Twitter for this one. But you can see how much trouble United have had on the left-hand side of defence. Given Luke Shaw's long-term absence, we've obviously had we've had Dallow playing there, we've had Regulon there. Most recently, Amrabat has played some games there. So it's not been a consistent left-back there. So United have struggled a bit more. But even with United's fully fit defence, we'd still struggle in there. Because United, with a manic nature of possession, consistently giving the ball away, in defence then... So many of these United players are having to cover far too much ground. And then that's leading to far too much space for the opposition then. Our midfield is being very slow to track runners. That's not helping. Far too many games that we've seen easy cutbacks into United's box. And they've got a spare man there just to have an easy shot on goal. I do feel sorry for Onana a lot of the time. Because he is facing a lot of quality shots at the minute. Comparing to other Premier League teams... United are allowing far too many easy shots. Yes, Onana hasn't been good enough so far, 
But United are not helping him out whatsoever. And even with a st- the strongest United defence in there, there's still far too much ground to cover. And this is a tactical issue in Ten Hag's game. At the minute, the attacking side and the defensive side of it are really struggling because the United are just failing to control possession, failing to advance that defensive line up the field enough, pinning opposition teams in their own half. United are not doing it. And these end-to-end games, even against weaker teams, are hurting us massively, both attacking and defensively. And lastly, guys, it's a little bit more about the attacking side of the game and it's Ten Hag's reliance on the sort of one-on-one brilliance from a lot of these United players. Particularly with Rashford in there, we're relying so much on him. Last season, it did work, but he massively overperformed on his expected goals last season. Then all of a sudden now, when he's underperforming his expected goals, all of a sudden people are calling for Rashford to be dropped from this team. It's not particularly Rashford's fault, I don't think. I think Ten Hag is asking an awful lot from him. This system is. We're relying so much on him trying to do something from one-on-one situations. Same with Fernandez as well. People are complaining about him. People are calling for him to be dropped from this team. But Ten Hag relies massively on these type of players. The system at the minute doesn't sort of breed that sort of calm attacking football at all. There's certain instances where you do need to rely on individual brilliance. Man City do the same thing. But Man City also have a different playing style where they can work opposition defences around a little bit. Try and find those um, gaps that are in around the defence. But United don't seem to have that other tactic to their game and we're really struggling because of that this season. We're giving up the ball far too easily. We're trying to counter press on teams. I think we're relying far too much on that counter press and I think it's not really worked for United so far this season. And then that's not to mention as well Hoyland up there. Hoyland, I do think, is going to be one of the strikers for the future, definitely. He looks to have so much all-round talent. In that Galatasaray game, was one of the first ones where United started to feed him a little bit more, and you saw exactly what he can do. But now, United need to do that so much more, and I think if we were to sort of get a bit more controlled possession and work those better opportunities, Hoyland can find that space then. He's that type of striker. If you get good balls into the box for him, he will feed on them all day. But we're not doing that enough currently. And I think United's attack inside of the game is really struggling for it. We've got Hoyland in there. We need to learn how to use him now. So there we are, guys. Let me know what you think about Ten Hag's tactics down in the comments down below. But for me, there's been consistent red flags in every game so far this season. And I'm very surprised because I thought we would be that sort of more possession-based team after last year, particularly who Ten Hag signed. But we've seen to regress massively, and it seems to be a lot of tactical tweaks in Ten Hag's game. Obviously, given the injuries, it might just be that. We're going to have to just wait and see whether he does anything about it now in the coming games. Obviously, we've got Sheffield United next, a game United expected to dominate. Can we go out there and do that then? Control the tempo of the game. That's what I'm really asking for from Ten Hag and his team now. But as always, guys, subscribe for the latest analysis after the game, and I'll see you there.